Hey, why not Beacon Lake? You're probably doing some research on Ireland thinking about moving to somewhere in St. John's County or St. Augustine, Florida. Well, today's video, we're here at Beacon Lake. This is a brand new Masterfly community in St. John's County. We're gonna be talking about the builders, the amenities, the schools. Let's go check it out. Hey, if you're thinking of moving to St. Augustine or St. John's County, then definitely subscribe and click that bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on all the market trends and lifestyle trends here in St. Augustine, Florida and St. John's County. My name is Manny Ortega, along with my beautiful partner and wife, Carolina Ortega. We took a leap of faith and we moved from Boston, Massachusetts down here to St. Augustine, Florida, and we absolutely love Florida. Hey, and check this out. If you're here right now doing research or looking for a home, you're, you're, you're home shopping, or if you're still doing your research and you're months out, definitely hit us up. We would love to hear your story and help you make a seamless transition down here to Florida. We get text messages, emails, and phone calls from people like yourself that are trying to make a move. And we have an absolutely blast. We have an absolute blast, absolutely blast. We have an absolute blast helping you guys get down here. All right, so let's talk about its location. So Beacon Lake is off of I-95. So it's east of I-95, west of Route 1. And it's off of County Road 210. We're essentially across the street from Beach Walk. The location is great for anyone who wants to be close to Nocatee, but not in it. And if you're going to be commuting to Jacksonville for work, friends, or family. Your shopping and restaurants are close by at the Durban Pavilion. It's just about a 15 minute drive. Beacon Lake is usually about a 25 to 30 minute drive to downtown Jacksonville. And about a 25 to 35 minute drive to downtown St. Augustine. And your closest beach, Mickler's Landing, is just 20 minutes away. Oh my gosh, my eyes. Oh, this, you know what I, I just realized? It's the sand. The sun is hitting the sand here that I'm next to and it's blinding the- All right, let's talk about its size. So Beacon Lake is 630 acres and about 358 acres are gonna be preserved. As we talk about its size, what's cool about this area that I feel compared to across the street at Beachwalk, Beacon Lake is less flashy and the buzz is, is not as much as you feel over there, right? I feel like that area is, is a little bit more party atmosphere just because of the swim up um, bar and the restaurant and stuff. Here, it feels more family friendly, very natural, and um, very calm. I mean, look at those beautiful, cute signs that they have here. You know what I'm saying? Beacon Lake has been approved for 1,476 dwelling units, and that is coming in the form of 196 townhomes and 1,280 single family homes. All right, so let's talk about builders and the developer here, BBX Capital Real Estate, brought in two builders, and that's Toll Brothers and Dream Finders Homes. And they're actually in the last few phases of development here. So uh, Beacon Lake is sitting at approximately 70% built out rate. All right, so if you wanna move here, you gotta move fast. If you wanna get new construction. All right, so let's talk about the types of homes. So let's start with Toll Brothers. So Toll Brothers is offering 73 foot and 63 foot home sites here at Beacon Lake. All right, so the first subdivision we're gonna be looking at is the landing. And this is where Toll Brothers is offering the 73 foot home sites. The landing is a gated community and they're offering one and two story style homes with all new exterior designs. In terms of floor plan layouts, they're offering a square footage range of 3,143 square feet to 3,704 square feet with either four to six beds and three to five baths. And they have half bath options as well. Their starting price is $975,990. All right, so the next subdivision we're gonna look at is the Preserve. And this is where Toll Brothers is offering the 63 foot home sites. Here at the Preserve, they're offering one and two store style homes. In terms of floor plan layouts, they're offering a square footage range of 2,284 square feet to 3,366 square feet with either three to six beds and two to five baths. They also have half baths options as well. The starting price is 624,995. All right, let's talk about Dream Finders Homes. So Dream Finders Homes is offering 43, 53, and 63 foot home sites. All right, the first subdivision we're gonna look for Dream Finders Homes is the Preserve. So it's right across from Toll Brothers. And this is where they're offering the 43 foot home sites. 
In terms of floor plan layouts, they're offering a square footage range of 1,613 square feet to 2,500 square feet with either three to five beds and two and a half to three baths. The starting price is $455,990. All right, the next subdivision for Greenfinders Homes, along with the 43 foot home sites, they have 53 and 63 foot home sites. And this is where the brand new phase is coming in. The square footage range is 1,716 square feet to 3,285 square feet with either three to six beds and two to four baths. And they also have half bath options as well. The starting price is $455,990. So I'm trying to talk and they got these trucks. You know, I'm trying to film a video and these trucks are over here ruining my video. I mean, look at this, man. They're polluting the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. All right, so if you purchase a home here at Beacon Lake, you're gonna be zoned for the following public schools. So your elementary school is gonna be the Ocean Palm Elementary School. Your middle school is gonna be the Alice B. Landrum Middle School. And then your high school is gonna be Beachside High, which is right across the street from here at Beachwalk. Now the good news about schools is that they're actually building a new school right here at Beacon Lake. It's gonna be a K through eight school and it's gonna service 1500 students. Now it's scheduled to open for the 2024, 2025 school year. That's good news. All right, let's talk about amenities, and this is where things get exciting. So across the street, you have Beach Walk. Obviously, they got a man-made beach. Here, they got a lake, all right? It's a 43-acre paddle-friendly lake, which is great for the family. Uh, you can rent one of these kayaks or canoes right here to, to my left and just hit the lake, all right? So along with the lake, they also have the following amenities. Beacon Lake has a community pool with lap lanes, a splash pad, and water slide. Dog park fire pit, fitness center, a crew house for lake activities, culinary studio and demonstration kitchen, boardwalk, a kayak or canoe launch, sand beach, several parks and playgrounds, an event lawn, pickleball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, and walking trails. All right, so why should you choose Beacon Lake? I think uh, the main driver here, or the main reason why people will come here is because of the family-friendly atmosphere that you have here. So along with the lake, obviously the 43-acre lake is fantastic, but you can get a kayak launch at Trailmark and Shearwater as well. So I don't think anyone's buying here because of the lake. I mean, the lake is awesome. Uh, but I don't think that's what it is. I think when they get here, you feel the family-friendly atmosphere, and I think that's the main driver here. If you see yourself kayaking, taking an afternoon walk, going bird watching, dropping in a line and maybe catching a largemouth bass, building some sandcastles with the kiddos, or perhaps finding a quiet spot to settle down and read a good book, maybe enjoy the food truck Fridays, an outdoor movie night, holiday and back-to-school parties, pop-up concession stands, and programming for children and adults, then you found your neighborhood. Obviously you're north in St. John's County, so if you're gonna be working out of Jacksonville, then I think this is a great location as well. Uh, and then with Nocatee to the east and a bunch of subdivisions uh, west of here, you, there's a ton of things to do in terms of restaurants, uh, joining kids soccer, baseball, whatever you may have it. Um, there's, there's tons of things uh, to do a lot. Yeah. Hey, hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're thinking about moving down here to St. Augustine or St. John's County, my wife and I, we would love to help you in any way that we can. God bless you and stay safe.